Hi, and welcome to Evening Afterglow. Well, last Sunday night, Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 was my text. And Paul begins a very important section of this chapter in which he's going to talk about pressing on for that upward call of God in Christ Jesus. But he gives this overarching summary statement of the Christian life in sanctification. And there he says, I know that I have not attained yet. I'm not obtained yet all that I need to attain or I want to attain. But I press on because Christ Jesus has taken hold of me. Therefore, I reach forth to take hold of that for which he has taken hold of me. There are two things here that are very, very important. And they are, first, the Christian should always remember that he's not arrived yet. I want to be honest and open to say to you, I have not arrived, but neither have you. And the Bible says that we cannot in this life attain perfection, that is, perfection in our experience, in our humanity, in our Christian life. Certainly, the believer is perfect in Christ. God looks on the believer, thankfully, as perfect because the righteousness of Jesus Christ is imputed to us. But in our human experience and sanctification, we will always need to be growing and changing and becoming more and more like Christ. That's very humbling, isn't it? But it also gives us a passion and a purpose to press on. Which brings us to the second thought. We should, because we haven't arrived yet, press hard, work hard, and intentionally give ourselves to Christian discipleship so that we may grow and become what God wants us to be in Jesus Christ. Why should we do this? Because Christ Jesus has taken hold of us. The believer doesn't work to be saved. The believer works because he is saved. The believer grows in his faith because he's pressing on to that upward call of God in Christ Jesus. This is the Christian life. This is the summary of our sanctifying experience. Always throughout our life we say, Lord, I'm not where I need to be yet, but I want to do better. Give me grace and help to grow in Christ. If you want to hear the whole sermon, you can go to fbcfenton.net and you can get the sermon there. I hope you and I today and in the days to come will commit ourselves to growing in Christ and let's do so with joy, purpose, and obedience. God bless you and we'll see you next time on Evening Afterglow.